Hey YouTube, it's Prep for Life. Today I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about concealed carry. The method that you use is definitely a personal choice. If you're anything like me, you have gone through your fair share of holsters. Several years ago, the hybrid holsters started coming on the scene. And, you know, I started off with my first leather holster here, leather back, Kydex front. And the reason that these are so comfortable is they distribute the weight of the gun and everything on two points right here and right here on your belt. And so it becomes extremely comfortable, easy to wear for a long period of time. Now, my only gripe with that was just the smooth backing of the leather uh, tended to really make this sag down lower and lower. And throughout the day, you find yourself reaching back and kind of adjusting things and trying to pull it up. And I did eventually move over to the Alien Gear, and this is their 2.0. They actually don't sell this model anymore. Uh, I got this from my Glock 43 a little while ago. I've worn it quite a bit, but you'll notice some innovations that that Alien Gear did. In terms of the material, they came onto the scene at a much more reasonable price with some cool innovations, uh, as you can see. And, and I won't spend time, because they don't sell this one anymore, I won't spend much time here. I'm actually going to move over to my 3.0. I got this about a year ago. And I've been wearing it, uh, you know, pretty consistently since. I mean, right off the bat, comparing this with leather, they are big on spacers and being able to have full adjustability, not only just in terms of how this rides angle-wise or in terms of the cant that you have, but the way that this even retains the gun. This comes with a full set of hardware, including screws that you need, spacers, um, even the Allen wrench to torque these down. It's actually a pretty innovative product, and I've been pretty impressed, especially for the price. The material is very, very interesting. Uh, it's what they call their alien skin. I think they've since updated this to a 4.0, which hopefully I can get you a review here on pretty soon. Um, but that's a, it's a rugged material. It's not leather. It's more like a rubbery substance. But more importantly, here on the back, it's really kind of a neoprene. This gives you a little bit more like a tennis shoe feel. It's comfortable for wearing all day long, whether that's against your bare skin, if you're wearing any sort of maybe undershirt or anything like that. This doesn't give me the same problem that my leather holster would. It doesn't sag really nearly as much as the other ones would. Uh, I don't know if you can tell in here, you see that, that ridge right there. That's actually a piece of steel that Alien Gear throws in the back. And that the way that that's shaped goes all the way around the shape of the gun, but not necessarily here. So it allows the thing to breathe a little bit, but provides a nice extra piece of rigidity right there along the back where your gun sits. So you notice chamber empty, gets a nice firm click. Open bottom, so a lot of my pistols I like to carry with a threaded barrel that just pokes right at the bottom. Um, again, really innovative design. In terms of the thumb grab, you know, I could probably use a little bit more room here. I like to be able to get a shooter's grip on my pistol as I'm pulling it out of the holster. Um, I, I, for the most part, can get that. If I'm practicing with this too much, I do get a little bit of a hot spot right here. But there it is, pulling out, presenting, going out, nice and solid. Like I said, I've been carrying with this holster for about a year now. I've been really impressed. I, I have to say, I don't really have any hesitation recommending this holster, especially for the price. So one thing I know a few people have mentioned, I, I saw it on uh, you know, James Yeager talking about this on his channel, um, is the clips. With the traditional leather holster, this is a pretty common design. It's made for an easy slip on and slip off, you know, without having to actually take off your belt and apply a holster. And of course, Murphy's Law would tell you that as I am in a true self-defense situation, I reach for the gun and the holster could come with it if these aren't secured on the other side of the belt. Um, I will say I do like the design of these clips a little bit better. There's a few different options on Alien Gear's website, but you'll notice there, there's a little bit of a grabber right there that, uh, that allows for, I think, a better purchase on the belt and gives you, you know, a little bit less concern of that happening. But from a product standpoint, from a customer service standpoint, from what I've seen, um, and from a price standpoint, I hardly recommend Alien Gear. Definitely go check them out. Hope you found this video useful. Please share your thoughts, your comments down below. If I've earned it, please subscribe to the channel and be updated for any new videos that we do coming out. And thanks for watching.